Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Have you ever come across a stunning image online and wish you could recreate its style in your own artwork? Well, you are in luck today because I have a tool to share with you that can help you just do that. Whether you are using Midjourney or Stable Diffusion, this tool can take an image of your choice and generate a text prompt that approximates the style used in the original image. It's the perfect starting point to get your creative juices flowing and create your own masterpiece. So without further ado, let's dive in and see this tool in action. The tool that we are going to be using is called image to prompt It's based on the clip model and it is optimized for stable diffusion, but we are going to be testing it both on stable diffusion as well as on mid journey. The idea is very simple. It gives you a text prompt uh, that approximate the style of the input image. In simple words, it expects an image as an input and the output is a text prompt. I'll put a link to this page in the description of the video. Uh, in this page, they have provided a demo which you can run so you can simply provide your own image and then test the model on it and get in a, a, a prompt. Or oh, they have also provided a few examples as well. So let's first go through the examples. Then in the next part of the video, we will use our own images. So the first example is they have given this input image of a cat wearing a suit. Here is the output that was generated by the model. Let's copy this model. According to them, it's optimized for stable diffusion, but we're going to use this prompt as an input to both stable diffusion based models as well as mid journey and see what the output looks like. For testing stable diffusion, I'm using Playground AI. They have two different versions of stable diffusion. So stable diffusion 1.5 and then you have an option of uh, 2.1. Stable Diffusion 1.5 is really good for general things, but if you really need like more realistic things, for example, faces, then 2.1 is pretty good for that. But we are going to test it on both. So let's say this was the prompt. Initially, I'm going to test it on 1.5. So simply click Generate and wait for the output. So here is the result. Actually, these two images both have a clear cat as well as the cats are wearing. Uh, suits. So for example, you check this out and this out. So it, it actually gave us pretty close to the original image that was provided. Let's test it on stable diffusion 2.1 as well. Copy it, paste it. Okay, here are the results. It seems like in this image and this image, there is a clear suit and even in this one. So the prompt seems to be working. Now let's test it on, on mid journey as well. I ran the prompt in mid journey and the style of image is actually pretty close to the original image. So for this specific example, it seems to be working pretty good. Let's look at some other examples. So for example, I have this image. Uh, it seems to be pretty complicated one. So let's copy this prompt. That is the output from the model. And, and then there are a couple of others that we can test. And let's first test it with a stable diffusion 2.1. In the meanwhile, I'm going to run the same prompt in mid journey as well. Okay, yeah, this one, uh, like in style, it's closer to this image for sure. The overall structure is a little bit different. Let's see what um, Stable Diffusion 1.5 thinks about this. Here are the results for Stable Diffusion 1.5. It seems to have generated images in the similar style. And here is the output from Mid Journey. In Mid Journey, it does add a lot of elements that you can expect from any output of Mid Journey. But I think overall, this style uh, can be replicated using this prompt. So I would say that okay, the, the model did a pretty good job. Let's do this uh, final example before we test it on our own images. So let me run it initially on stable diffusion 1.5. Here is the result. It does seem to have actually pretty good comparison between the style of the original image as well as the output from the stable diffusion 1.5. For comparison, let's do it to uh, 2.1 as well. Okay, yeah. I like same elements are there. So I think overall style it looks pretty similar to the original image. Now here's the output from Stable Diffusion. Did add some extra elements that you can expect from uh, Mid Journey. Okay, now if you want to run this on your own images, so simply click this Run This Model, and now you have an option to actually upload your own image. So let's say I will give it a first a simple example, and then more complex and more complex. So let's say simple this image of a woman uh, who has red hair. But to run it, click Submit, then it will start the model and start getting the prediction. It, it will take a few seconds, uh, so I'm going to stop the video here. Okay, so the model came up with this output, a red-headed woman with freckled hair and blue eyes, a character portrait by, right? So let's see what stable diffusion can come up with. 
based on this uh, prompt. So we are first checking in on 2.1. I'd click generate. So here are the outputs. That's from stable diffusion 1.5, stable diffusion 2.1, and then mid journey. Overall, I think the prompt is able to recreate the style of the image. Okay, next let's uh, test it on this tiny house in glass ball. So simply click on submit and let's wait for the model to give up an output. So in this case, the output is a glass ball with a house inside of it. Tilt should shift uh, photo by div. So it actually seems to understand the picture pretty good. And, and the uh, output reflects the contents of the image. So based on the output, here are different images that are generated by Stable Diffusion 1.5, 2.1, and Mid Journey. And I think they did uh, pretty good. Uh, they conserved the style of the image and were able to replicate that. Let's see what it does with this uh, image of a teddy bear. Let's submit. So the output is a brown teddy bear sitting next to a red, uh, present box. Uh, it seems to have uh, completely ignored the shirt of the teddy bear. But let's uh, create images based on this prompt. So here are the outputs from all three different models for comparison. One thing uh, which we you need to keep in mind is uh, these images are simply generated using the vanilla prompt that is output from the model, right? But the original images, they are definitely had a more complex structure. So it's not just the prompt, there are uh, negative uh, prompts involved. So, but in this case, we are simply getting the uh, single positive prompt, no negative prompt. So you always need to use these as a baseline and not like the final uh, prompt that you're going to use for your AI generator. As a last test image, we're going to look at uh, the picture of a joker, right? and let's see what it comes up with. This picture was originally uh, generated using mid-journey, so it's not a stable diffusion-based uh, image. So the output from the model is indeed a painting of a joker with green hair. So let's, let's uh, test it on three models. Here are uh, the outputs uh, from all three different models. Mid Journey seems to replicate that uh, style pretty good, um, pretty accurately. So uh, I usually use that as a, my starting point. So if I like a certain style of an image and just want to get a quick prompt uh, to replicate the style, I use this. Uh, and you can use it in your own workflow. Just uh, use it as a basis for your images. Uh, I hope you like the content. If you like the video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.